You excited? I'm not gonna fit in that bathtub. You're not gonna take a bath? Your mom takes baths. You're not going to? I take showers under the hose. Oh man. Mm. Hmm. You ready? Yeah. Muscles will see what you can do. It pops. It's called bubble wrap. That's what it does. Yeah, it's fun. Is it lighter? Do you want to open the door? but none of them would fit in the um, space that we have for a tub, so. Hmm. I have bath palms I have yet to be able, able to, I have okay. bath palms I have yet to have been able to use. Is that right? used way too many words. I have yet to use. <laughs> I have bath palms I have yet to use. I can use them. Look I how tan I look in here. I definitely won't be able to stretch my legs out in that. Well, I mean, I guess I can, but... Your feet would hit the top. My feet will hit the top. Well, I don't know, because my butt's not all the way against it. Yeah, I was going to say, most of the pictures were done like that. By short girls? I don't know. Boys. Like people oh. wearing all-white outfits for the head on, so you couldn't see who they were. So Shauna would like a tub, and of course I'd like to make that happen for her. Um, so we have uh, this area here that was designed for a tub. The problem that we ran into is that the um, the bathroom, the water closet door or water closet wall here is a little closer than had we had anticipated originally. Um, in fact, it's a lot closer, but. It's, so the tub size is a big problem, and uh, fitting it into this space is going to be a challenge. Um, the I don't know if it's if it's like a code issue that the water closet has to be a certain size or what, but for whatever reason, the wall is where it is, and we have the space that we're working with. Of course, Shauna wanted a tub with a uh, double slipper, um, so that. Uh, proved to be very challenging as well. After a lot of searching, we finally found uh, this bathtub, which we'll let uh, Shauna do a review on and tell you where it came from. But um, this tub was actually designed to go into ho hotel rooms. So it's a little smaller, but it has the, uh, the look and feel of your old uh, clawfoot tub. It actually has uh, cast iron claw feet and um, it, uh, it's, it's pretty nice. You can take a little shower in here. Um, I don't really fit into the tub very well, personally, but, uh, you know, I can make it work. The problem that I'm having right now is 
the spacing that I had to work with with the concrete board that we already had put up. So the um, tile, let me grab this piece here for you. The tile that we're going to be using in this space is a marble tile. We only want to use natural stone in our house, uh, which was, we got a good deal on the marble. We weren't too picky on the natural stone, or I wasn't. Um, I think Shauna went back and forth between uh, slate, um, different types of stone. I, we'd love to be able to do soapstone in here, but soapstone costs a fortune. Uh, the other thing is that as we've moved into this house, our, um, I guess our decorative taste has moved toward, moved, moved more towards, I guess what she calls French country versus rustic. So the soapstone and uh, slate um, weren't, they didn't go well with that theme, but the marble goes very well with it. So I have to figure out how to put the marble in. Um, when I insert two pieces of marble on either side, I'm actually about one millimeter shy of fitting the tub. So obviously, once you add um, a couple sixteenths, uh, so maybe an eighth of an inch total for the uh, mastic or the mortar to hold the tile into place, uh, we're really short on space in here. So what I'm going to have to do is take off the concrete board. I'm actually going to drop it to a quarter inch concrete board. Um, that's going to drop my tile below the drywall. I have a plan for that um, because the tile should come out and kind of overlap over your drywall. So we've got a lot of work to do here, but I think that we can make this thing work. We just have to kind of take things apart and make up at least a quarter inch, if not more. Um, these boards here are probably, they're, they're a little less than a half an inch. So by dropping this, these boards to quarter inch size, I'm not making up a full quarter inch on each side. I'm probably making up a quarter inch between the two. Um, and that really, even, even after that's done, I'm, I'm basically going to have about a millimeter of space on either side of this tub where it touches the top. So this is going to be a very tricky task and um, I'd be lying if I said I've done a lot of tile work before. So this will definitely be an interesting task. Okay, so here's what I need you to do. I need you to get on, get right here, and we get the lift and pull this out. Can you help me? Come on. Can you move the bags first? Can you take the, the sponges? Can you move the, the sponges? Yeah. Pick, up, pick those up and move those. That's good. We'll add a little weight to the tub before we move it. Can you... Here, I'll get these. Now, I need you to get on that side, of, or over here, Edmar, and we need to lift this tub up and move it, okay? Can you get aside? Can you help Daddy move it? No, not the bags. That's like there's a really cool toy for that. That's not, that's not a toy. Edmar, we gotta lift this, buddy. See, look. We gotta lift the tub and move it. Mommy got it all into position too early. I didn't just do it. Add her here, baby. Can Daddy move that box of caps up to where it's out of the way, please? Thank you, Daddy. Uh, let me help, Charlie. And by the way, the side that you put the foot on, gapped. The side I put the foot on, not gapped. How do you want me to pick the tub? I don't know. You said to let you help, so I'm letting you help. Well, last time you stepped in and got on the other side. Don't hold it there. Skinny, 
faucets off, and then uh, when we do the, before we put it back in there, actually do the, according to the instructions.